Hey, what's up, guys? So, this one's gonna be a little different than usual. I want to make a video for 10.2 since we're getting real close to probably getting some information about what I would like to see for Affliction. Specifically, more of like a Mythic Plus wish list for Affliction. So, some of these things might be like impossible or just, you know, only hopes and daydreams and some prages in the chat. Um, I've been playing Affliction for a while now, especially in keys, and I've done hundreds and hundreds of keys as Affliction now. So, I think I got a couple ideas on what I would personally like to see. And I'd see what you guys like to see. Uh, if you got any ideas that maybe I don't talk about, put them in the comments or, you know, join the Discord, let me know. Or come by the stream, twitch.tv slash arson, come hang out. Uh, first off, let's just jump right into it. Shard generation. I think shard generation is probably the biggest problem that Affliction has right now, outside of a lot of other things that could probably be adjusted for talents, which I'm going to get into after this. But... I think there is way too many times for Affliction where, especially in single target, where you just are kind of just gambling. You're just hoping that you get an Agony Tick and praying that you get a, a Shard, which feels bad most of the time. So what I think would be kind of cool uh, is if you could maybe control this a little bit, right? If your play could reward you with Shard Generation over another person, right? So Pandemic Invocation should potentially do this, right? Pandemic Invocation says if you refresh at the right time, every every dot, you have a chance of generating a soul shard, right? And you do a little bit of damage. But right now, that is so abysmally low of generating a soul shard that it is essentially not part of that talent. Like, if you get one, that's great. But I think it'd be really cool if this talent worked more in the lines of if you play well, you generate more shards than another person who might not be playing as well as you, right? That would be pretty cool, or just something along that line. Like, if you could play better and generate more shards, that would be sick. If not, I don't know, maybe we'll get something like that. But shard generation is number one. Even if it's just like a baseline adjustment to getting shards off of Agonies, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, there was a tier set in, like, Legion, I think, that literally, like, the two-piece or the four-piece was that your Agony generated more shards. Uh, maybe in 10.2, maybe our tier generates more shards. That'd be pretty cool. But I think it should be a talent solution, to be honest with you. Uh, next thing, I think there is too many forced choices on our nodes. So, for instance, I think Grimsack is almost a forced choice, right? Because there is very few situations where we're not going to want to run Soul Rot. Uh, and so to get to Soul Rot, we either have to spend two points in Sacralash, which is where are we getting those two points from? You know what I mean? There's, there's pretty much nothing to get two points out of here. And we need to get to Soul Rot most of the time, like I said. So you're having to almost always go sack, which for me is another one. I really like having your pet out so you don't have to interrupt your cast time, especially we've got a bunch of long cast times, right? And we lose a little bit of our, our pet utility with like pet purge on the Fellhound and stuff like that. So I think it'd be really cool to see some solutions to these forced talent nodes. I think Affliction has some of the least amount of talents of any spec in the game for DPS. I actually went through and added up every talent node for every class. Uh, I'll put it in the video. But you guys can see real quick. But uh, Affliction has 39 talent options. <laughs> and we have a couple dead ones. So I think, you know, it's not necessarily a bad thing. But when you have a couple force choices or uh, some, like, just purely dead talents. For instance, Agonizing Corruption, I think, is a Omega dead talent. When I don't know when you could ever run this talent or it would ever be worth two points on that node. Ever. Uh, <laughs> I don't think there's ever a moment where you could spend the two points on that node. Uh, I just think it's a little... It gets a little inflamed when we have so least of, or so little of options, right? I think we do have some cool choices because of that, though. Like because we have low low options and talents, we can kind of do a bunch of stuff down here, which is kind of cool. But the big thing I want to get at, I think this line of talents right here is Affliction's like problem zone. If you had to ask me, every talent in here feels either bad to take or mandatory to take, but not in like a fun way. Does that make sense? Like. Soul Swap is cool in certain situations, and I got I got some stuff about Soul Swap. I think Soul Swap should be a much shorter cooldown, and I don't think it should cost a shard. <laughs> if we maybe even got this baseline, would be a pretty far step in the right direction, I think, because Soul Swap has really cool uses, but it almost feels like we just take it to get down to this node, right? Uh, I, I already talked about Pandemic. I think Pandemic would be sick if we could actually get good use out of it, and if it worked to actually generate shards correctly. Uh, Inevitable Mize feels terrible in keys for me. I personally don't like it. There's people who play it and people who love it. Uh, but for me, I just feel like it's not it's not a good enough it's not a good enough talent. 
especially over soul flame which is just to kind of set it and forget it right so i think this entire like line right here is something that probably should be looked at um sacrilash feels like you can't ever take it again there's just the over these two other talents you can't really do anything there so uh, there's there's a lot of issues I think in Affliction's tree that could use a little bit of adjustment. Uh, a lot of people really like Wrath. I personally would like to see Wrath maybe get uh, some adjustments as well, uh, maybe a little bit longer duration or something like that. Because in, in keys, unless you're in certain keys like Freehold or like Underrot, or maybe it's like uh, Ghost Week or something like that, where you can you know keep keep spawning little shades or whatever and and tagging them and getting like your refreshes of Wrath. It's really difficult to keep Wrath up in keys sometimes. Uh, Crescendo's got uses in single target, but uh, that's leading after Crescendo is the next thing I want to talk about. So I know I'm kind of chain gunning stuff here, so hopefully I'm not speaking too fast or whatever, but I kind of just wanted to get, I had some ideas and I kind of just want to get them out in video form and just talk about them with you guys. So uh, the next thing I want to talk about is the Vile Taint Gap, right? <laughs> so if you've ever played Affliction, you know there's a Vile Taint Gap, meaning when you Vile Taint, right before vile tank comes back off cooldown there is a gap where you have to refresh your agonies before you can just reapply them with vile tank right and that gap feels really bad especially in big packs because you have to make the decision of either spamming seeds out or refreshing other dots like haunt or ua and then trying to catch those agonies and then vile tanking again right and you can usually only catch like four to like maybe six agonies or something like that and then you're just casting vile tank right there was a two set bonus in Shadowlands at the very end where, and this is my suggestion, where every time you use Malefic Rapture, it increased the duration of Corruption, Agony, and UA by two seconds. That would be pretty cool if they brought something like that back. The four piece of that tier set was actually Crescendo if you didn't play in that season. So what I think would personally be cool is if maybe they attached it to Kindled Malice. That's my suggestion. Kindled Malice already increases Rapture damage and Seed damage. If something like that, you can move it anywhere in the tree, it's, it's fine. But if we had a talent that allowed whenever we Raptured or Seeded that increased our dot duration by two seconds, I think that would go a long way in not only fixing the Vile Tank gap, but making Affliction just feel a little bit better as far as catching your dots, right? I don't know, it might have some weird, some weird implications, especially with Pandemic, but personally, I think it'd be pretty cool to maybe see that two set come back, especially already because we have the four set, right? I also think it would go a long way in fixing that vile tank gap, man. I really do. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about too is, we first off, we already kind of have something like that as a PvP talent. <laughs> so there's a PvP talent called Rotten Decay, which Shadow Bolt or Drain Life increase the duration of your dots. That's pretty cool too. Something like that maybe for us would be pretty sweet if it was just a baseline something. I think that one's really, really strong to be a baseline talent, but hey, I think it would be a very uh, solid addition to Affliction's kit if we had something to increase our dot duration outside of just refreshing them. Uh, so that plus shard generation, I think would be pretty solid. The last thing I wanna talk about, or one of the last things I wanna talk about, Button Bloat, right? That's the number one thing that I think I hear people talk about the most with Affliction is Siphon Life and Button Bloat, right? Specifically, usually revolving around Siphon Life. <laughs> so, uh, Siphon Life is kind of a, like, I, I feel like it's in such a weird spot, right? And I think a part of it is because of Rapture. Like, we're taking Siphon Life because Rapture just increases all of our dots increases damage done based on all the dots we have. It's one of the same reasons we're taking Soul Rot, right? Just to add an additional dot. So I totally agree that Soul Rot or Siphon Life feels kind of bad to play, especially when we're already dealing with trying to manage so many things. Again, I think Siphon Life wouldn't feel as bad if we could extend our dot durations in other ways, but uh, I think it'd be kind of cool if maybe Siphon Life was tagged in with another thing. Like if maybe it was connected to another uh, another talent or something like that. So maybe every time you applied Agony, it also applied Siphon Life. Or every time you applied Corruption, it applied Siphon Life, right? Maybe uh, like a lot of people make the suggestion of Shadow Priest, Shadow Crash, right? I hear that talked about all the time. Shadow Crash applies like uh, Vampiric Touch and Shadow, Shadow Word Paint or something like that whenever they use it. If our Vile Taint also applied, you know, maybe an additional dot like Siphon Life or something like that, which I think would be a little strong. But if Siphon Life was attached to something else, I think it wouldn't feel as bad as it does currently. 
Uh, I think part of the problem is that, especially in your setup, you're doing so many buttons just in the very beginning that kind of feel like almost lackluster. And then you get into your buildup, which for me, I mean, I think I might be a little jaded because I've just been doing it for so long, but I personally think it'd be cool if Siphon Life was just attached to like corruption or something like that. Um, like I said, I know Shadow Crash has definitely been brought up a bunch of times. I think that'd be kind of a cool addition, specifically with like Vileteen or something like that. That'd be kind of sick. Uh, one of the other things, and the last things I want to talk about is definitely this node right here. There's a few other little things, but personally, I think this node, this choice node, could be combined into one talent and maybe like numbers adjusted, right? Obviously, if you combined it and just left Dread Touch, I think that would be way too strong. Uh, and same with way if you left the Doom Blossom damage. But I think if you adjusted these numbers a little bit, uh, I think that'd be a really, really strong talent for Mythic Plus. And again, this is more of a wish list situation. I think that might be really, really strong. But I think it's an interesting idea. This is one of the only talents I feel on our entire tree where it's a single target or AoE choice, right? And it's one or the other, like entirely. Doom Blossom does nothing in single target and Dread Touch, and Dread Touch does some stuff in AoE, but not like actual AoE damage, right? So I would like to see something happen with that node. Personally, uh, I just feel like it's, it's right now we just basically, and I always just choose Doom Blossom, right? In every key, I'm basically just choosing Doom Blossom. It would be cool if you could maybe get a little bit of bonus out of Dread Touch in single target situations, or maybe if Doom Blossom had a little bit more single target value in situations as well, that might be kind of cool, but it'd be something I'd like to see for sure. Uh, lastly, one little top side little thing, I think Soul Burn should affect, should affect Soul Stone. I think we should be able to soul burn and instantly soul stun somebody for an instant battle res. I swear to God, I think we used to have this in MOP. If we did, please remind me because I was trying to search for it and I couldn't find it before. And I'm like, I swear we could do that before. If not, whatever. But I think it should. I think if we could soul burn a soul stone to instantly battle with somebody, oh my God, that would help so much. So much, dude. <laughs> but uh, I hope this wasn't too long. I kind of want to just get some ideas out. Maybe like a little wish list type form talk about some things i'm sure there's a few things i missed uh i think dark harvest probably needs some looking at if you're somebody who likes playing dark harvest i don't think it's currently strong enough to compete with some of the other things um haunted soul is an interesting spot right now too in my opinion i think it's a little lackluster in certain areas and strong in others but there's a few little things i like to see there i'm really excited for 10.2 i hope that affliction gets some adjustments and maybe some love and i hope that our tier set's actually good It'll be really interesting to see because we're probably going to lose our class trinket and I don't think anything else significant is probably going to replace it, but maybe? I don't know. That's a lot. It's a lot of power that we're losing uh, off of this trinket. So we might be in a weird spot depending on what we get next patch, guys. So we'll see. But uh, one thing's for sure. Be sure and come by the stream because I'm definitely going to be playing Affliction next patch. Uh, of course I will be. And hey, if you didn't notice, uh, we got some new shirts as well there's a link in the description and they'll probably be like a little bar thing or whatever but i set up a little merch store you should come check it out it's just stuff for the stream stuff like that maybe you like it maybe you don't it's all good but you should check it out i think they're pretty cool i made all the designs myself i'm pretty proud of them i like them i think they're kind of sweet but before i head out of here thank you guys so much for all the support i appreciate it we had 1600 subscribers on the youtube which is it's just insane like uh, i've been away for a little bit trying to do some stuff but you know I appreciate you guys so much for hanging out and watching the videos. It actually means a lot to me. Uh, more videos coming real soon. Um, and if you're new around here, you should come by the stream and hang out. I stream every day, 4 p.m. Pacific, pretty much seven hours a night, or we just do keys. So we see when we just hang out and have a good time. Twitch.tv slash arson. You should come hang out. I appreciate it. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much.